everybody and welcome back to Alley Cat Photography's YouTube channel. I'm here today to do another vlog vlog, blah, 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 vlog video on lingerie for the boudoir studio. Say that three times fast. Alright, so I got a couple of new things in. Um, as you know, if you follow my vlogs and my lingerie stuff, I am all about bodysuits right now. And I recently got this red one in, and I love it. It still has the tags on it. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to make somebody look perfect. Um, love that one. I recently went to a um, thrift store because I, I love to find things for a good deal. And this is a nice large size. It's got this real 80s metallic vibe going on to it. I think with some like 80 sunglasses and some big curly hair, that could be a fun theme shoot. Um, so if you're watching this and you're a model on the Gulf Coast, hit me up if you'd like to do that. You need to be a little bit on the curvier side for this one. Um, not all boudoir photo shoots have to be super sexy and lingerie. This sweater would be perfect in a chair with a cup of coffee and a newspaper or your favorite book kind of looking out into the light coming down showing some cleavage maybe with some little boy shorts or a little pair of thongs or something along those lines it'd be gorgeous uh, you don't have to wear lingerie to do a boudoir shoot this would be beautiful I got this because I'm working on building a shower set in the studio. So this will be one of those little white body suits that you'd be able to use and we can squirt you down and get that wet t-shirt kind of a look. I really like this. Plus you'd be able to maybe pull it forward, show the sides of your boobs, pull it in, even pull it up. It'll be really beautiful. That will definitely be coming soon. This is another little black bodysuit that I got. I'm loving the fringe details that's on here. I don't know if that's focusing or not because I can't see because lingerie is in front of me. But I'm loving that. This is definitely a bigger size. I normally buy all of my lingerie in medium to large. And if I'm buying anything overseas, then I'm buying it in an extra large because it may come out as only a small. So. Now this one I... I unveiled in my boudoir, my VIP boudoir group on Facebook, and I love this. Um, it's got this velvet applique right here, and then this, this little velvet collar and little buttons on the back. Long sleeves, I love that. And then a little thong. Um, and I'll actually show you a photo of it right here. It's gorgeous, right? That is an awesome booty shot. So here's a couple of more items. Like I said, you don't always have to wear lingerie for a photo shoot. Now I'm a little on the curvier side, so I don't know how well this is going to fit me. But I love this. Now I've actually shot in this too. Let me show you. Right? I love that. I mean, this topless is just super cute. So you could do it with um, just the jacket and maybe a pair of thong hong, uh, thong hongs. <laughs> Thigh highs and thongs. Um, you could do it with just maybe high-waisted um, black panties. And you would actually be covered up as much as like a bodysuit or a bathing suit would show. But it would be in a sexier style. And I love the detail in it. Isn't that cute? Alright, for all my lumberjack girls, <laughs> I love this. I actually already did a photo shoot in this one too. It's cute, right? Who knew? I got this off Amazon and it comes off the shoulder. And I think this with boots. Oh. If you come into the studio with boots and an axe, I will give you five free retouches. If I'm allowed to use them on my website and whatnot, I would love that. I don't have an axe in the studio. <laughs> Go figure. Um, 
More bodysuits. Okay. Anybody who knows me knows I am obsessed with stripes. I love stripes. I wear them all the time. If I'm not in black, I'm probably got something with stripes on it. And this is gorgeous. I love it. And it's a bigger size. It would almost fit me. I'm not going to go into what size I am, but I ain't tiny. So that's nice. Um, though I do feel like nude or black underwear would not work with this maybe nude if you when getting nude underwear always get the nude color that's closest to your skin color because that's going to be the most that's going to disappear under something like this um, so yeah this is also a new bodysuit that I recently got in the studio it's I love this color because I think this color is going to be gorgeous on people's skin maybe I don't know but I like it. It covers up. If you want to cover up your belly, bodysuits are a great way to do that. And still be showing off your legs and your arms and your boobs and your butts. Here's another jacket. Now see, now this jacket I'm totally going to do a model call for. Um, I'm thinking this jacket with black um, waist-high panties and the knee socks that come, or thigh-high socks that come up to here with like some Converse baseball bat. It'd be cute. I uh, know. I like themey. I like themey photo shoots. That may be one we do a YouTube video on. Let's see. Oh, a new bra for the bigger girls in here with some lovely lace details. Just because you have a large top area does not mean that you have to wear granny bras. Nice little white for my bridles. And the garter belt. This is a good size garter belt. Well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We're always adding stuff into the studio. Remember that you can bring anything you want into a boot wash uh, session, but you don't always have to spend another $500 on lingerie to get the look. Most photographers have client closets, and mine is huge. I have a shopping problem. So until next time, guys, remember, life's too short, so do the photo shoot.